G'day, this is Michael from Coin Collecting and Detecting. Going to be searching through some Wonderla coin rolls today, and uh, let's see what we've got. So, uh, this is the last bunch of my Wonderla coin rolls that I've got for live searches until I go back to the bank. So, um, yeah, I have to head back to the bank at some stage in the near future. So, uh, let's zoom in and let's check through these ones here, and hopefully, we find something really cool. Just looking at that top kangaroo to see if that's a little bit of a rabbit ears straight away, but no, I think it's just a bit of a, a bump there. So, g'day Fraser, how's it going? Hope you're having a good day. Yeah, I hope everyone's been having a great day, wherever you are. Um, lots of people tune in from around Australia and overseas, so it's, it's awesome having people from everywhere um, tuning in and checking out these things out. So, um, Kyle, how's it going? Hope you've had a great day. Yeah, good, thank you. Let's go. <laughs> that's right, let's get on it. I like it, I like it. So, um, geez, I'd love to find, sort of focused a little bit on a 2014 Kangaroos design. They only made one million of them, and I'm, I sort of um, sort of overlook it a little bit, just because it's just a standard design, but you need to look at the years on the coin. So, yeah, those are uh, hard to find. So those 2014 Kangaroos designs, $2.20 to $18.95, because uh, they're a bit harder to find. So, let's see if we might be lucky to get one of those today. Jeremy, hello from Canada. G'day, how's it going? How do you know how mu uh, so much about coins? That's so awesome. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, I've been uh, coin collecting and also selling coins for years. So I'll oh, probably about four and a half years or so. And um, I've got coin lists. So I've put together coin lists of things to look for. And, the, and I also research those prices, what their recent selling prices are. So those lists, anyone can pick up those lists through my um, bio. Hey, g'day, Kieran. How's it going? Hope you've had a week. I hope your weekend has been good. Yeah, it's been good. Thank you. Good. Nelly, how's it going? Nice. Um, T Hill 24. Hey, how are you, Mike? Good. Thank you. Good. Yeah, so um, I'm hoping for a 2014 kangaroos design. So, sort of channeling that in my mind and keeping an eye out for these dates, looking for those 2014s. Cheeky EZ. Hey, how's it going? One of my um, live subscribers. Awesome. Can see a little CCD next to your name. Awesome, thank you. So anyone who's interested, up the top there's a little star that um, you can be a subscriber to my live streams on here on TikTok. So um, there's a small cost in there, but um, there's some giveaways I'm going to be having. So this one here, I'm going to be giving away this Spuru Error Coin. So everyone who's a subscriber on Tuesday, I'm going to be at random choosing one person to receive this Spuru Error Coin. I'll send that out to you in the post, and then next week. I'm going to be giving away this, um, ooh, have to zoom out a bit, this $2 banknote in pretty good condition. It's just got a slight center fold through there. But um, yeah, this $2 paper banknote from 1985, I think it was off the top of my head. Yeah, so that's going to be the prize for next week, one of the um, live subscribers. So a bit of an interesting serial number with only three numbers in it, three eights, two nines, and a one. So yeah, appreciate anyone who um, takes that option, but I just love having people here following me on my little search here. So these women's suffrage coins, um, $2 to $8, um, 10 million of those minted. So I put that aside. Ooh, your PFP reminds of Peter Hellier. <laughs> yeah, I, I have sort of got that a fair bit over the years. Um, people say, oh, you look like Peter Hellier. So um, yeah, I do get that. Um, Nelly, it's crazy here. Hoping my 7 p.m. flight goes ahead. Is the flood close to Mascot? Oh, okay. So there's a bit of flooding up north. Um, didn't really know about that. I don't really sort of stay that in tune with the news. So um, yeah, hopefully everyone's all right if you're um, in, in and around any of that sort of stuff. So yeah, that's no good. No good at all. All right. Not that I'm aware of. Yeah. Okay. Josh, hi from Perth. G'day, Josh. How's it going? So um, a little bit earlier in the day over there in Perth. So it's getting closer to five o'clock in Victoria where I'm from. So I'm, I'm assuming it's probably, what is it, three, about 3.40 over there in Perth, a couple of hours earlier. Um, Mark, number one fan, fire. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thanks, Mark. But, uh, all right. What's your favorite animal? Oh, good question. Um, I don't really know. My favorite animal, good question. Geez, I'd have to really think about it. Um, what's your favorite animal? Give me a bit of, give me a bit of thinking time. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not too sure. 
Uh, Kyle, one dollar Aussie coins are my fave. Yeah, they're pretty cool, aren't they? I, I do like searching through them actually. Yeah, the kangaroos and little blobs of metal you can find on them, and yeah, they're pretty cool. I like it. So you're over in um, is it Nashville or Kyle over there? I think in America. Um, yeah, but originally from Canada, I believe. So, yep, a little bit different to currencies over there. I, I think in Canada, people in Canada say, "Oh, these look like loonies." So I'm not, I'm not sure what loonies are really, but they must be a Canadian coins that look fairly similar to um, our Australian coins. How long have you been coin collecting? Oh, about four and a half or so years. Yeah, coin collecting and sell a few coins and things. I'm from Canada right now, but bounce to Nash to write music. Awesome. Yeah, that's cool. I like it. Oh, that's an interesting bit of uh, comment action going on there. I don't know what it means, but... Uh... All right, this one here, I'll check this one for rotations. You can get rotations on these particular coins. Let's check it out. Mm, not quite rotated there. So I have got one here that's rotated. Yes, bit of spam, yeah, probably. So this coin here is rotated. So I'll put it in one of these, um, yeah, one of these coin holders here. So this one here. So you flip it around, and yeah, the coin's pointing to the sky, and that's cool. So um, there you go. Poland, awesome. Appreciate people from tuning in all over the place. Um, <laughs> which guy? How much did uh, how much did you start coin? How did you start coin collecting? Oh, look! I just um, I found a coin that looked a bit different, an Australian coin. So I put it aside, and then I heard them talking on the radio about it, and they said, "Oh, those coins they sold about for about six dollars to coin collectors." I thought, "Geez, that's pretty cool." So I kept on finding coins like that. So I kept on putting them on my bench, and um. I started to get interest and I thought, geez, maybe I'll do a bit of research into this. And I, yeah, I started watching videos on YouTube of people um, who collect coins and then started doing a bit of research, asking questions and stuff like that. So um, yeah, that's how I started. What's your best find? Oh, probably a wavy baseline, um, two wavy baseline uh, 20 cent coins from 1966. Yeah, they, um, they can be worth up to five thousand dollars in perfect condition but um mine were quite worn so i actually sold them both for three hundred dollars each and the reason i sold them is because it was pretty early in my collecting days and because you're holding a lot of coins when you're collecting it's pretty costly so um, i had to sort of um sell a couple of things to help with the financing of being able to get more coins and go through things and and to tell the truth i thought I'd find more of them. I thought I'd find them fairly regularly because I found two of them within about three weeks of each other. So I thought, geez, I'm going to find these semi-regularly and um, it'll be cool. But um, I haven't found another one since. But that's the way it goes. You live and learn. Hey, mate, how's it going, Cody? Hope you're having a good one. Any good finds today? Not uh, Nothing really flash today, no. Not, but hoping for something good. What year are you looking for? Looking, oh, there's about, there's 35 different coins on my $1 coin list that um, are in my TikTok account. You can pick up those lists through the link in my bio. There's a small charge. But I'm sort of focusing on a 2014 Kangaroos design. So in the year 2014, they produced a lot of the Anzac coins. I'll see if there's an, so this Anzac coin here, they made lots of these in 2014, about 22 million. And they only made one million of the kangaroos design in 2014. So I'm sort of um, focusing on that a little bit today. Yeah. Cool. I'm waiting for my tax money to start up. Yeah, that's true. Tax tax time sort of good if you get a bit of a tax refund. Got a bit of, it feels like easy money, doesn't it? So you can uh, sort of launch into something. Yep, that's good. Good. All right. Checking around there. I found a 2014 kangaroo design yesterday. Awesome, Zach. That's that's really good. Yeah. I've sort of been... I've sort of overlooked them a little bit. I've sort of been looking for particular things, but not the 2014. So it's on my list here. But um, oh, when you're talking as well and reading comments and, and answering questions and stuff like that on the lives, it's a little bit um, not as focused, I suppose. So today I'm sort of just focused in on that 2014 date. Yeah. Are there any colored one dollar coins? Yeah, there's um, there's not many, but this one here is a donation dollar. So a give, it says give to help others. And it's a 2020 coin. So they made a fair few of these, but I think the idea is to donate it to different causes and so on. 
But having said that, um, it's one dollar, and if it's your dollar, then you can do with what you want. So coin collectors would want one of these for their collections, and um, yeah, so these would sell for a little bit over face value um, to have one sent out to your address. So that's that's pretty much the only colored one. There are some special collector coin colored ones, like um, some that are in the Great Aussie Coin Hunt sets that are sort of one-offs, and or not one-offs, but they're a bit rarer. So um, yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah, so that's a yeah, that's right. So that's a one dollar coin donation dollar. That one there's got a bit of green on it there. Nice. Will you ever collect other currencies from around the world? I do have um, I do have coins from around the world, but not a lot that I can go through like this with Australian coins. So um, I do have a number of bags of them, and I've have done lives where I've gone through them and and looked at them, which is really cool. And I'll I've got another bag here sitting on my desk that I've sort of waiting to go through. Just need to schedule it in. So these are all coins from all over the world. Um, and I'm gonna go through them on a live and I don't really know much about coins from other countries. So it's always good actually to have a bit of interaction from people overseas where they can sort of tell me what they are and what's, what's to look for and things like that. So it's cool. Do you have a coin microscope that you like? Yeah, I've got a digital um, microscope where you plug it into your computer and you can see really good detail. And I've also recently sort of picked up this field magnifier. Um, this does about 10 times magnification. And so it's got a little sculpt sort of section there. You can put it over a coin or a banknote and you can press the button, the black button and it has little lights in it. So it can really shine a bit of detail on the coin. Um, probably need to put it on the desk to sort of get it nice and steady. But yeah, so pretty much a, f a digital microscope and that field magnifier just gives me a little bit more detail. I have a $5 Don Bradman coin. That's awesome. Nice. Corn chips. Uh, what's the best coin you found today? Um, ooh, today. Got a couple of these women's suffrage coins. What else have I put aside? Just put a 2019 IRB aside. These ones here. Uh, what are the prices on those? $2.10 to $9.90 are some recent prices on that coin. And the women's suffrage coins... Um, $2 to $8 each, some recent prices on those. Shiny, Nelly, hey, if, um, if you sort of signed up to the subscriber. Ah, thanks, Nelly, appreciate that. Shiny, that's right. Yeah, thank appreciate that. So this one is pretty shiny, isn't it, 2019? Yeah, it's a fairly newish coin, only a couple of years old, but um, definitely stands out, yeah. What's your most valuable coin? Ooh, I don't really know. I'm not too sure because I haven't checked the values on all of my coins because values can go up and down and change a bit over time. So I was curious what it does. Yeah, so the um, so I'll yeah I'll follow anyone back who's a live subscriber. So at the top of your screen, there's a little star you can click on anyone who's wondering what I'm talking about. And that's a new sort of feature in TikTok where you can become a subscriber to individuals' lives. And uh, there's the certain features and things that um, people will do. So I'm going to do a bit of a giveaway. So I'm going to be giving away this Spewroo Era coin um, on Tuesday. And then next week, I'm going to be giving away this $2 banknote um, here to one of my live subscribers. And um, also follow everyone's account who's a subscriber. So cool. But this one right here, this one is an M for Milo uh, coin, this one right here. So this is from the Great Aussie Coin Hunt in the year 2021. So um, I put I put these all aside, probably about two to six dollars, depending on condition for those great Aussie coin hunt coins. Oh, cool! Yeah, so each week I look to be giving away something to some of my live subscribers, and I'll be choosing different things at random and share with people. And um, yeah, so it's just a bit of a way of saying thank you, and I appreciate it. How many 1984 coins were minted? Ooh, that's a good question. I don't know off the top of my head. There probably will be people in the comments who know. Um, yeah, but there'd be a fair few, I'd say, because it was the first year of um, $1 coins. So, geez, I'm tipping probably up close to 100 million or so. I like prizes, <laughs> Nelly says. Yeah, prizes are good. Uh, it sort of feels good to give away things too. So um, not not give away your all your all your really prized possessions, but I'm just looking at this one here. It's got a bit of something, a bit of action there on that ear. What's going on there? I think it's just a bit of dirt, actually. I thought it was an extra blob of metal. Yeah, does a dog. Hey, there's another subscriber. Nice. Also subscribed only chat as well. 
in lives. Yeah. Oh, okay, yes, you can do. That's right, Dazza. So you can set a feature where um, just your live subscribers can um, be involved in the chat and stuff like that. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to exclude anyone else who's sort of here. So um, yeah, not at this stage. But I might do special lives every now and then, with just for my subscribers. So, but um, yeah, I'll just sort of wait and see, see what I can do. Yeah, but um, I'm just happy here to search coins and and talk about what I'm I'm sort of finding. So I appreciate anyone who's in the comments and watching along. What is this one here? It's got a bit of something there that's not usually there. What is that? I don't know. Hmm. Hmm, I'm not too sure about that. I'll put that aside. I might do a bit of research on that. Do you send to the US? Yeah, what I'll probably do is, yeah, if anyone from overseas um, subscribes here, yeah, I'll look to be sending the prizes overseas. So I don't know how much it costs, but I'll make sure it happens. So um, yeah, if people are gonna go to the effort of supporting um, my lives and subscribing. There's a little bit of a cost there. Um, then uh, yeah, I'll be happy to, if you win the prizes for sure, I'll be sending them over to you. So yep, definitely. That's weird, yeah, that was a little bit funny, wasn't it? Casting, yeah, I'm not too sure. Where where did I put it? This one right here. I don't know if it'd be like a mint mark that might've been sort of, because it it's not raised up, it's really flush with the coins. So I'm not too sure what, um, what that is there. Hmm. Little in circulation they are or were. Will you ever collect other currencies from around the world? I do sort of collect from around the world. Yes, yeah, so I do have foreign coins, but um, not in the same way I do with Australian coins because I've got access to heaps of Australian coins just through the banks. You can go to the bank and pick up uh, coin rolls like this or coins in bags and search through them. I don't really have access. Oh, I don't have access like that to other currencies, but people go overseas and they come back with coins and they'll pass them on to me and so I've got a fair few I've got a fair few bags of them and stuff like that so yeah I do like them should I look through my penny collection I have over 1600 and if so do I what do I should I look out for oh man um you yeah, probably should look through them I I don't really know the dates specifically that are rarer dates off the top of my head um 1930 pennies and things like that obviously um, a one to look out for. But apart from that, you're sort of looking for the condition of the coin. So the pennies and half pennies, usually a couple of dollars each they might sell for. Um, but in good condition, they can get right up in price. They can get up into the hundreds of dollars. So condition can play a big, big part in the value of pennies and half pennies. But if you've got a particular coin and it's in really nice condition, jump on eBay, put that year's coin in an eBay search and filter your search to sold items to see what some of those coins have been selling for recently. And that gives you a bit of an idea on the value. Ooh, I don't know where this one's been, but unfortunate. Uh, what coins do you want to find the most? Ooh, geez, I'd love a $1 mule coin. Um, they one of those sold for six thousand nine hundred dollars, and it's that coin that it's it's a this one dollar coin from the year two thousand. So this coin's from the year two thousand, but you're looking for a double rim on this side of the coin, and they accidentally struck it with a ten cent sized um, die that strikes the coin, and it created this double rim effect all the way around the coin because the 10 cent coin's a lot smaller. So um, yeah, that's definitely one to look out for. I'd love one of those. Yeah, that'd be cool. And people still do find them, so yep. You just had a 1984 kangaroo. Yeah, they're very common. Yep, they made a lot of the 1984s because it's the 2014s that I'm after, the 2014s that I'm pretty keen. And this is a year 2014, this coin right here. I appreciate the gift there, thank you. New to newt. Um, but this is most likely an Anzac coin when I flip it over. So let's check this out um, and see if it's a kangaroo's design. Let's hope for a kangaroo's. Oh, no, it's the Anzac. That's all right. Keep on searching. I also have a 2014 $1 coin. Yeah, yeah, you want the kangaroo's in the 2014. If you found a double struck coin, would you keep it or sell it? Um. It depends. Oh, I'm not too sure. Yeah, I'd probably keep it. Yeah. All right, so this is a P for platypus. So from the Great Aussie Coin Hunt in the year 2019. Nice, a bit of a unique Australian 
animal. It's only found in Australia, apart from probably zoos now around the world, but that's where, yeah, it's called a monotreme uh, type of marsupial, I think it is. Yeah, a few gifts there, donuts and fairy bread, <laughs> high in sugar, but it's all good. Party time, thank you. Send you a few roses as well. So this one's probably a donation dollar. We'll flip it over. This has probably got color on the other side. There we go, a donation dollar. It's in pretty good condition too. That's nice. Um, is Tassie, in Tassie, they are out during the day. That's right, yeah. So these platypus, they're pretty cool. Like you can go to some creeks and if you're lucky, they're, they're pretty elusive, but yeah, sometimes you can see them. So, okay, so in the comments there, in Tassie, if, if you know where to go, then you can see them. I've seen them uh, not too far from where I grew up. Um, there was a creek and yeah, they inhabit that area. So it's, it's so cool to be able to see one of those because I think they are, I think technically they're like a nocturnal animal. So they're more active at night, but um, if, you, if you're on dusk and things like that, and sometimes in the daytime, yeah, so that's cool. All right, this one could be a missing leg. So on the 2015 coins, this is a year 2015, these are known to have a bit of an error where the leg of this kangaroo over here, this one right here, there's a back leg. So there's this one at the back there, but there's supposed to be the faint outline of a leg through there. And that might have a little bit of something. It's just got a little bit of something I could see there. But sometimes it's totally, oh, you can sort of see it there in that light there. You can see just a, just the, um, yeah, the line down the side. So it's good to get it in the light and flick it around a bit just to make sure. So that one is not, yep. Uh, Nelly, g'day, your name. Um, funny how donation dollar is worth more. Yeah, well, it's just more that um, there's lots of coin collectors all over Australia and they live, like I've been sending coins to places I've never even heard of, like all, all these small towns all over Australia, just coin collectors collecting coins. They haven't got access probably to banks like I do where I can get heaps of coins and try and find the things myself. So they're happy to pay someone to send send things to them. So they've got them, like I've got an example of one coin from each year or different things like this. So, um, and to take the time, like if I put this coin on eBay, I'd have to take a number of photos, I'd have to create a listing, write a title and description, set it up, uh, make sure I can post it. So there's a little bit too, it's not just like, um, yeah, it's not just like you put a picture up in it sells and you send it straight away and you don't, it doesn't take any time. So there's a little bit of time in putting it up there. So you, you, your price that you put it up for is just a little bit more than face value depending on how rare the coin is. So cool. All right. Um, it's funny because at the, on my screen, I've got it in a mount and I can't see how many people are still tuning in. Ah, cool. So there's 360 odd people on the live. So thank you for being here. Awesome. Ah, round 50 cents rare. Um, I found one on the road and have never seen one. Man, that's cool. The, it's a bit of a, oh, <laughs> sort of paused on the answer to that. They're not rare, but they're valuable because they made 36 and a half million of those round 50 cent coins, um, but they're 80% silver content. So they their selling prices are between about 15 and $26 on eBay at the moment. Um, yeah, so... They're not rare, but they're sort of valuable. I, I hold on to all of the ones that I come across, the round 50 cent coins. All right, this one here is got the little A underneath the kangaroo. That's there's These coins have got either an A, a U, or an S. So it sort of stands for Oz, Australia. It's got a little 35 over here. That stands for 35 years since they started um, minting $1 coins in Australia. So it's a 2019 coin. So these are about, some recent prices on these, only about $2.50. So, um, yeah, there you go. But I, I hold on to those ones. Um, can you answer me, please? Uh, what's your question? Hey, Mike, I have some one and two cent coins. Where to sell them and how much would I get? Um, I've got a guide through the link in my bio. It's one and two cent coin prices and stats. There's lots of different things you can do with one and two cent coins. You can sell, try and sell them individually. And some years are rare dates and other years aren't rare. Um, and then you can try and sell them in sets. I, I've been selling them in sets for a little while where one coin from each year, and I sell those for between about $20 and $30 each, those sets. Um, you can sell them in bulk lots. So all like if you've got a lot of them, um, you can sell them like in two or three kilogram lots. People use them for craft projects or they might want to search for them for coins, um, sorry, for their own collections. So there's heaps of different things you can do. And that's why I've created a little guide. There's a little cost to getting the guide. 
but yeah, through the link in my bio, you can maybe pick that up. All right, year 2000 coin. Geez, want that double rim on this uh, on this coin here. Uh, I have a five cent coin with the date 2047. Well, wait a second, 247 on it. Mm, interesting. Oh, geez, it might be, um, I'd sort of like to see that. So maybe if you could, if you can, I don't know, if you make a video and maybe tag me in it, you can sort of check it out. Or I've got a, this one's interesting. I've got an email address, coincollectinganddetecting at gmail.com. So maybe you could even take a photo and just send that through to my email address if you, if you'd like, and I can have a look at it. Your heart dropped, Cody. What did your heart drop? Did I sort of drop something in the bag? How many dollars worth of coins do you get from the bank at a time? Um, I sort of mix it up a little bit, but say generally speaking, you get five uh, get, for five cent coins, you get a hundred dollars. Ten cent coins, a hundred dollars. Twenty cent coins, about a hundred dollars. Um, fifty cent coins, two hundred dollars worth of fifty cent coins. About five hundred dollars in one dollar coins, and either a five hundred or a thousand dollars in two dollar coins yeah but it gets pretty heavy when you're trying to carry all that back out that's uh that's very heavy um can we see your rarest coin oh geez i've got so many different coins all over the place in different locations and things like that but um yeah i don't know exactly what my rarest coin would be yeah but um yeah i'll be sort of sharing lots of different things i've got heaps of videos in my TikTok account, so check out all things there. Favorite coins. Oh, favorite coin? Oh, geez, I've got, I like all sorts of coins for different reasons. So yeah, there's one I've got here on my desk that um, I really like. This one, he's, they call it a ram's head. So it's a 50 cent coin from 1991. And um, I found this one not too long ago, I suppose. So um Pretty low mintage, but not severely low. Let's have a look at the mintage on these. 4.7 million, so it's considered rare. Um, yeah, but $2.90 to $12.50 these sell for on eBay. So if you're interested in something like that, you could jump on eBay and grab one of those, but I do like that coin. I haven't sold any of those, and all those coins I find, I, I hold on to those. Those square black capsules are lovely. Yeah, they're pretty cool, aren't they? Um, so they're called Quadrum Intercept. Um, holders you get them from Renix and um, good quality sort of stuff so yeah um, I like it and there's actually a folder where you can put these clip these into the folder so it sits in the folder and you can have all these displayed so yeah they're pretty cool I like them um, hey Mike can you get coin rolls from the bank what's that can you get coin rolls from the banks or you need a roll machine uh, no you get them from the bank yeah um, you get them from a bank, yep. So, but it depends on the bank whether they stock coins in coin rolls or in plastic bags. Now, most banks stock coins in plastic bags, so not. So you'll need to check with banks close to where you live as to whether they stock them in paper like that. Uh, what's the five dollar coin worth? Oh, it depends which particular five dollar coin. There's lots of different years, um, but the the common one is a 1988 five dollar coin. Oh, thanks for the gifts there. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, and the nineteen ninety five dollar coin. Yeah, they're cool though. They're nice large coin, the five dollar coins. But generally speaking, about eight to thirteen dollars, like for like a nineteen eighty eight five dollar coin. Yeah, I like them. Though. I reckon they're cool. Um, you ever spent time looking at UK fifty pence coins? No, not as much. No. Yep. No, not at this stage. But um, yeah. I can only tell because I get them from work. Okay, get them from work, nice. Put that one aside, that was a 2019, sort of a bit of a lower mintage, holds a bit of value. How often do you go to the bank to get coins? Oh, on average, probably once a week, probably once a week, yeah. Just do one trip, drop all the coins off, all the coins I'll drop into the bag here, just take back to the, the bank and put it through the coin deposit machine and it puts the money straight back into my bank account. And then I can uh, just go and get some more more coins out again so um it's a continuous cycle where's the tool to open the rolls uh, it's right here sitting on my desk nice and trusty this is the damascus steel coin roll opener that i use anyway my brother made it for me and um yeah it's got cool pattern through the metal pretty expensive metal but um yeah that's what i use to open the coin rolls so i like it 
Um, I think the best thing about coin collecting is that you can't really lose money. That's pretty much true. So all the coins that you drop in the bag, you take back to the bank and you get them, get that money back. And you're only putting aside things that are worth more than face value. But um, if you're holding onto them in collections, then you're you're not uh, you're not you're sort of holding the money. But then yeah, you don't lose the money. It's uh, just holding onto it, and the things you're holding onto are worth a bit more. So. All right, what do you think uh, the best bank to go to for rare coins? Oh, look, it's, um, it probably depends on where you are. Like, I mix up the banks and go to different banks. Oh, yeah, I don't think there's necessarily ones better than others. I did a bit of a series a little while ago called Bank Off, where I sort of um, got coins from four different banks, and I'd do like a little tournament to see which which banks would, would have the better coins, the rarer coins and things like that. <laughs> and, and the bank's sort of not too far away from where I live. I think NAB was coming out on top. They were sort of winning a few of those sort of um, series. Well, I can see on my wall, actually. Yeah, NAB won three of the Bank Off series. And uh, ANZ won one, Westpac won one, and Commonwealth Bank won one. But um, I don't usually go to the NAB for the bank, for the for my coins. So, yeah. Anyway, there you go. I'll go to Westpac. I'd watch this for hours. Uh, there you go. Well, I've, I've actually got a YouTube channel where I, I um, save these lives. Well, on TikTok, you can go to the live section of your account and you can download the replay of the lives. And I put those replays on my YouTube channel. So anyone can just jump on the YouTube channel and it's called Coin Collecting and Detecting. And um, yeah, you can uh, watch for hours over there. <laughs> there you go. People sort of watch them, I think. They sort of tell me in the comments when they're going to sleep sort of just nice and relaxing and stuff like that and they uh, sort of drift off to sleep listening to me talk about coins nice all right only a few coins really to go in this search 2017 2015 okay what's this one 2017 so I've got four coins to go this is the last four coins let's hope that I can find something nice here what are we looking for just looking for low mintage one dollar coins looking for coins that are worth more than just one dollar there's a fair few of them but um, yeah you've got to be searching for them to find them now this coin here it's nothing special but this one this coin's been cleaned or it's been there's some sort of solution being put on this coin and when people sort of ask, oh, should you clean coins? It um, The response from coin collectors is no, it, it devalues the coins. And I can tell that this has had some sort of work done on it and um, it's not that great. <laughs> so um, it devalues coins if you use polishes or sort of cleaning solutions. So the only thing that I would pretty much do is say, if it's got a bit of, sur bit of surface dirt, just with the side of the bag or just a little cloth, just give a little wipe to try and get some surface dirt off a coin. Um, yeah, maybe slightly damp um, material just to sort of get the, the surface dirt off. But that's the only thing I'd pretty much do um, to coins if it's looking at cleaning. Cool. All right, then. Well, that's pretty much it from today's live. So, um, yeah, there's all the – or here's a few of the coins that I've put aside. I found a donation dollar. found a P for platypus coin, uh, Great Aussie coin hunt. found a M for milkshake coin from a Great Aussie coin hunt as well. Found two of these women's suffrage coins um, up to sort of about $10 they can sell for. Uh, it's a 2019. I think I found a couple of those. Another 2019. And there was one also with um, with the A letter. Where's the one with the A letter? This one right here. So there you go. That's what I found there. All right, I'll have a look at a few questions and then I might sort of wrap things up. M for Milo. That's right. You betcha. Um, he said you could make a video and tag him in it. Yep, cool. Spectrum, hey, Kieran. Um, caught you at the last minute. Can't wait for the next live. Yeah, so back on, i am sort of been, um, the last little while, sort of been focusing on trying to be a bit more consistent about the particular time I go live. So sort of looking between about that 4 and 6 p.m., somewhere in that 4 and 6 p.m. sort of time bracket is where I'm sort of looking to go live at the moment. So, yeah, if you're looking at sort of jump, jumping on and checking something out, usually between that sort of time frame I'm sort of looking at the moment. Um, 
Yeah, so there you go. Let's have a look. A few more comments. Nelly, cheers for live. No worries. Appreciate you being here and thanks for being a live subscriber. So anyone who doesn't know at the top, there's a little star there. And if you click on that, you can become a subscriber to my lives. Um, I think there's a small cost to it, but um, I'm going to be doing, I'll be following your account and also be doing giveaways. So this is a giveaway I've got for Tuesday for one of my live subscribers. I'm going to be choosing at random. This is a Spuru error. So you can see a blob of metal on the back of that second kangaroo. So a Spuru error coin I'll be sending out to one of one of the um, live subscribers. And then next week, um, I'm going to be doing this $2 note as a giveaway to one of the live subscribers. So this is a, a nice condition Johnston Fraser $2 bank note. Yeah, so there you go. So stay tuned for that. All right. Okay, then I hope everyone has an awesome day and or an awesome night wherever you are in the world. And uh, appreciate everyone being here and asking the questions. Sorry if I didn't get to see your question or comment. Um, but yeah, appreciate you being here. And uh, back on tomorrow with another live. So hopefully see some people then. Cool. All right. Catch ya.